Witamy Pana bardzo serdecznie. Hello. I zapraszamy And do wykład. Yes, please present your presentation. Hello, Can you hear us? Yes. Uh, hello, my name is Ovidiu Kraju. I'm PhD and beekeeper, and I'm part of Durkov Rug Research and Development Team. I will start this presentation and my colleague, PhD Daniel Popovich, will continue. We are Dulko Frucht. We named our presentation to be or not to be the secret of bee nutrition. Next slide, please. Our presentation will be about three main issues. Uh, the first is about protein bee feeding importance. Second is a presentation about our product, a super protein patty. And finally, my colleague will present our exclusive bee feeding experiment, which confirm the sustainability of Duke of Rook protein feeding. Next slide, please. We think uh, every beekeeper should consider those four principles of protein bee feeding. Why to feed, when to feed, what to feed, and how to feed. Slide four, please. Why to feed protein? Unlike the other animals exploded by humans in agriculture, bees collect their own food, which they process, preserve, and store in order for the whole family to survive. The bee families bases its experience on two types of food. First, energy food made, made up of nectar, honey, pollen lipids. And second, protein food made up of, of bee bread and pollen. In the absence of one or both type of food, the entire family regresses. Both types, type, types of food have a synergistic action, their, their role being to ensure the survival of the bee family. With the development of commercial beekeeping, the survival goal of the bee family was replaced by achieving performance and maximizing the production of honey, pollen, bee bread, wax, propolis, royal jelly, and venom. For this purpose, a number of substitutes were used the role of which we'll see during this presentation. The presence of protein food is absolutely mandatory when the bee family begins to raise brood. In the absence of protein food, the bee family slows down its development and the family immunity and vitality decrease. The, the bee family is no longer optimal for ensuring a significant production of honey and other byproducts. In situations where there is a low protein intake uh, can lead as appropriate to the reduction of amount of brood raised by the bee family or even refusal to raise brood, cannibalization of brood, expulsion of drones, and alternatively the development of factors conducive to the development of specific disease like uh, Nosema, European full brood, Pollen is the primary source of bee protein. At the bee family level, there are two methods of storing protein. By consuming pollen, the bee stores the protein necessary for the bee family at the level of the fat body and structural proteins. This is first mechanism of protein storage in the bee family. According to Dr. Daniel Popovich here, this fat body can represent up to 65 uh, percent of body's body weight. The second mechanism of protein storage is through the processing of excess pollen. It is stuffed by bees in camps. The condition of temperature, humidity, as well as the presence of lactic bacteria in the hive lead to the transformation of pollen into a secondary source of protein, the bee breed bread. Slide uh, five, please. Okay, uh, from case to another, at the level of an apiary, we can encounter two major issues in ensuring a good supply of protein to the bee family. First, lack of pollen. 
and second, the low biological value of pollen collected by bees. As you can see in the slide, the lack of any nutritive element can be a limit for the entire system. The Libix barrel uh, cannot be filled anymore and the hive will not achieve the performance. Uh, slide six. Okay, I, I will wait. Okay. Why to feed protein? As you can see in the slide image, the bee's life expectancy depends on protein stored in the fat body. A bee with uh, 25 uh, body protein content is just an empty bee, an empty carcass, because the two variable, um, like I said, uh, pollen quantity and biological value are difficult for beekeeper to control supplementation with pollen substitutes is required. Uh, here are 10 reasons why protein supplements should be used both during the active period and during the rest period. First, the crude protein in the supplement support the activity of growing the brood in periods without harvesting. The bee family follows its usual course, even if, it, if in nature the amount of pollen is uh, not enough or the biological value of the pollen is uh, reduced. Second, by ensuring a quality protein intake, the activity of queens and nurses is supported, which contributes to reducing uh, the chances of swarming. Uh, third, pollen from nature can be a source of pro profit for, for the beekeeper. The pollen collection by the beekeeper must be compensating by providing protein supplements. For uh, protein in protein supplements promotes the development of secretion of uh, hypopharyngeal glands. In apiaries which uh, explode commercial uh, royal jelly is very important to provide uh, substitutes for pollen or uh, bee bread. Uh, five, the growth of queens, constant quality uh, in the breeding apiaries cannot be done without a qualitative and quantitative intake of protein. Six, it is proven that bee family with enough protein quality have been shown to have better immunity and resistance to disease like Nosema or European food growth and uh, have better yields. Uh, seven, a quality protein prolongs the life of the bee which has an important significance in increasing the productivity of the bee family. Eight, the provision of pollen supplements can create the opportunity to add in the protein food supplements with a role of supporting the well-being of the family. For example, addition of probiotics or, or amino acids in protein candies. Nine, in situation where the bee family collects toxic pollen, the supply of substitutes and their association with the energy food contributes to recovery of the family. And finally, despite, all, uh, despite stereoty stereotypical ideas, the nature cannot be replaced. A study published in Journal of Apicultural Science found that many protein candy formulas are more effective than natural pollen. Next slide. When, uh, when to feed the protein? Uh, must, must, must be keeper use protein supplements during periods when they want to increase the area of the brood. The most common protein administrations are at the beginning of brood growth activity and at the end of the activity season. These periods have become axiomatic in the terms of supplemental protein feeding, but isn't it necessary to give protein even during harvest period? Here are some situations in which supplemental pro protein feeding should be done. First, it is necessary to give pollen supplements to be to be families when an intensification of breeding activity of the brood is desired. Uh, when families are moved to 
pasture in monoculture, for example, sunflower, lavender, buckwheat, eucalyptus, acacia. A poor quality of pollen can be compensated by the administration of protein supplements. This was second. Third, during the, the period when pollen is collected, it is necessary to restore the protein stock at the family level. Fourth, special care is needed for fall protein. The formation of the bees fed body is very important during this period. The success of quality of a quality winter is also ensured by the administration of protein supplements. In periods of capricious weather, when the bee cannot go out harvest, as well as disaster areas, it is necessary to give pollen substitutes. Six, if you want to raise quality breeders like queens, drones, it is uh, imperative to feed with pollen substitutes. And finally, the exploitation of some byproducts of the bee family, such as uh, royal jelly, wax, venom, requires an increase in the quantity and quality of the protein uh, food in the hive. Now, it's turn to my colleague, Daniel Popovich, to explain what to feed and how to feed. Hello. I wait. Okay. Hello, I am Daniel Popovich, and the, the alternative proposed by the Dulcopo team is the last generation of substitute of pollen given in the form of solid feed. Super protein patty for the hot season. It has a biodegradable packaging and the uh, please the slide. The next slide, please. So, Super Protein Party has, has a biodegradable packaging and is given directly on top of the frames. The bees destroy and remove the biodegradable paper. It is good to have brood or a source of carbohydrates from harvesting or feeding, otherwise the patty may tend to dry out. Uh, this is for uh, the hot season and the uh, uh, candy super protein in the cold season. Cut the foil and place it on top of the frames. It is well consumed by bees and has good results. We do not agree the administration of pollen substitute in powder form outside the hives for the reasons written below. It is possible that the family may not have enough bees harvesting. There may not be favorable weather condition for harvesting. Uh, and protein reaches in the honeycombs, not in the digestive tract of nurses. Both the pollen that has become bee bread and the substitute that has reached the honeycombs after four days from, from harvest are avoided by nurses. Their nutritional value decreases through fermentation and they can even become toxic, toxic through microbial alteration. The next slide, please. That is how those products, uh, products like, looks like for cold and hot season. And the next slide, please. Uh, super protein patty benefits. It's, it is for hot season because the digestibility is extraordinarily good, even better than pollen's digestibility. The consumption, consumption of super protein patty is fast and the effects are just right spectacular. Like other patties, if a honey harvest begins while it exists in the hive, the honey will be not adulterated. It even protects the bees and increases their lifespan. Along with super protein candy, they are, they are the only food that reduces the varroa population. The volatile oils in the composition, in addition to protecting the bees' gut, also fight the varroa mite. It has biodegradable packaging. It does not generate 
plastic wast. It doesn't melt on frames, no matter how hot it is. It is, uh, it is outside. Next slide, please. Super protein fatty recommendations to use. The first is for invigorating the families, regardless of honey flora abundance or weather conditions, and developing those who do not have sufficient harvesting in area with small amount of pollen or poor pollen quality. And the another is uh, it is used for production of biological material, queens, drones, bees for the founding of new colonies and then the development of new colonies and the another is uh, it, it is very good for preparing the winter generation for which it supports the development of fat body and the increase of winter resistance next slide please these products were tested under under extreme non-harvesting conditions in the following experiment exclusive feeding experiment from the 5th of april to 5th of june three complete generations of brood not maximum two generation as was a mentioned limit in the old books the area was completely free of nectar the bees were feed with super protein patty candy super protein and apitotal next slide please This is what the field life looks like, only plowing herbicides, well herbicides sown fields, 10 kilometers to the nearest source of harvest. <clears throat> Next slide, please. In this experiment was proven that even in shorter or longer periods with extreme conditions of natural climatic accidents or desert condition, or environmental destroyed by human activities, especially industrial agriculture, but also other activities, without environmental sources of harvest, these a species so related to nature can really not only survive, but also thrive biologically if they are given artificial access to this type of food. Next slide, please. In the 61 experimental days, the bees went to the initial 15,000 individuals for training to about 80,000 individuals per colony. I'm sorry that the original images were omitted when was edited this presentation. The volume of the hives has gone from six frames to 35 frames consisting of three and a half hive bodies, some real towers, all by exclusive feeding with protein products and uh, dual fru fruit uh, syrup. Next slide, please. Based on uh, this protein food, the amount of brood raised is normally characteristic to, of uh, strong families. The population has grown unusually large, which indicates a longevity of bees. The photo with the brood frame is original and the unique aspect was the complete absence of any kind of bee breed from the nest of the colony. Bee bread, excuse me. Protein feeding was done only from artificial feed. Next slide, please. The very good quality of product was, was confirmed by the health of the bees, the very good population of the hives, including the, including the development of swarming instinct. All this starting from the from uh, the six bee frames of adult bees without brood and without access to nectar or pollen. Next slide, please. You can follow us on these addresses and have a nice winter. And I uh, finish my speech.
Thank you very much for the sponsored lecture. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for having been our guest and uh, for having participated in our conference. Thank you again, and uh, until next time.